The historic castle behind me is the Tower of London. The Tower of London was built by William the Conqueror in 1076. Since then it's been used for various different purposes. It has been the royal residence, it has been a place for prisoners, but above all it's a place where executions have taken place. Thankfully the UK abolished the death penalty some 50 years ago. However, many countries continue to impose the death penalty from the United States of America to Pakistan. The last hanging that took place in the Tower of London was in 1786. Paradoxically, we're not far away from the offices of Clive Stafford Smith of the charity Reprieve. I'll be going over to see him to talk about this topic of capital punishment. I have the great privilege of talking to Clive Stafford Smith. Clive does not need introduction. He is the founder of the famous charity Reprieve and I'll be talking to Clive. Clive, thank you for talking to us. My pleasure. Clive, um, we read in the newspapers and it was headline news that uh, Shakir Amir was released from Guantanamo Bay. Um, tell us a little bit about that case. Ah, well, it's one of the great joys of life, isn't it? I've represented Shaka since 2005, so a little over 10 years in Guantanamo, and I've been there 34 times to see him, I think, my favorite resort of choice in <laughs> the Caribbean. And finally, after so much time, we get him to come home to his family, to his wife yeah. to his four children, one of whom he's never met My because goodness. Faris, his youngest son, was born the very day he arrived in Guantanamo. Yeah. So that's just one of life's great joys. And uh, Clive, having sort of represented him and being with him all this time, do you think he's sort of survived the mental torture that he's I mean, Shakir has gone through an unspeakable nightmare yes. in terms of the torture and abuse he's been through. Yeah. But he's indomitable and he manages to maintain an optimism mm. that's a real tribute. Mm. And so he's certainly survived. He's done more than survived. I think he's going to mm. do some tremendous things now he's out to help other people under similar Is that the sort of strength of certain people's human spirit, you know, to... Yeah, I don't know where it comes from, yeah. you know. Does that come from innocence, being innocent, in a sense? I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I think certainly there was a great injustice in yeah. Shaka's case. Yeah. That goes without doubt. He was never charged with anything, never tried with anything, and he is innocent. But no, I think it actually comes from him. Mm -hmm. I think no matter what circumstance Shaka was in, he would have the same optimistic mm -hmm. outview on life. Well, we would wish him, you know, a good reunion, and I'm sure people are happy and thankful to you and Reprieve for making that possible. Well, for, for yeah. me and for Reprieve, it's a privilege to I be know. allowed to do it. Thank you, Clive. Okay. okay.